Hi everyone, my name is Abhay Verma. I am the founder of Brilliant Supply Chain. The idea and inspiration behind Brilliant Supply Chain starts with my curiosity to learn about science, engineering and later business and supply chain. The transition from studying engineering and science to business and supply chain was like two worlds colliding. If engineering was the head of an organization, business will be its body. When we talk about an organization, it is a very strange creature. It can take any shape or form. It can sense the feelings of humans and can navigate through different terrains and difficult times. This means that an organization is a living creature. Now, this creature can be anything like lion, squid or tortoise. But an ideal state for its operation is that of a human body. Also because we can relate to it better. So, in order to make sure that our business always takes the shape of a human body, we must be careful in executing the business development process and must comply to some rules and conditions. For understanding the process of business development, we must understand how a business is born. At the time of birth, business is only an infant, just an idea or inspiration. We all know that at the time of birth, human child is very weak and needs a lot of care and attention. Similarly, business idea also requires a lot of care and attention at the first stage called idea generation process. Once an idea is generated and nurtured, we must validate the feasibility of our idea in our second step called collecting information. The information that we collect from this stage will be used to design the body of our organization. Usually the business body has sales, marketing, operations, production etc. as its body parts. Hence to make sure that we do a good job in developing the business body like a human body, we must understand two concepts called business as a human body and laws governing organization and sustainability. Understanding these laws and concepts gives us how we can design a good business. Next, we must organize the information in our third step called organizing information into strategies. Is that a good strategy? Is there a better way of accomplishing that task? These questions and more are contemplated in the fourth step called strategic thinking. Till now, business is only theoretical and conceptual. Let us execute the strategy as part of fifth step called manifesting. As discussed before, business is only an infant at the time of birth. Naturally, the business will grow up. Now, how big or small a business is, is usually defined by its current stage of supply chain. There are five stages of business development that can be represented as an infant, child, teenager, adult and an elder. Just like business as a human body and laws governing organization and sustainability, this is also just a concept and must be taken with a grain of salt. This content is only for entertainment purposes. Finally, we must sustain our business so that we ensure that our business has a long and prosperous life. So these are the topics that will be discussed by Brilliant Supply Chain in future videos. Idea generation, collecting information, business as a human body, laws governing organization and sustainability, organizing information into strategies, strategic thinking, manifesting, stages of supply chain, sustaining business. If you like to learn more about these topics before we get a chance to make those videos, all these buttons on this image will navigate you to the respective blogs. The link to my blog is given in the description below. To stay connected and catch all the next videos, subscribe and follow me on YouTube Pinterest and other social media platforms. Until then, learn to be brilliant with Brilliant Supply Chain.